Alright, what is good YouTube? It is your boy Bloodbath Anime here. I want to welcome back to another Mugen video, but this time it's more of a Mugen tutorial than a Mugen video. And we've done a lot of this in the past. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a whole playlist of every Mugen tutorial related thing I've ever did and put it in one. I'll put a link down in the description below for you guys to check each and every one out. But this one was highly requested and this one was voted. If we didn't see the poll, I'm going to put it right here, right here, wherever my fingers are pointed when I edit the vote poll and that this is one of them and I even said at the bottom I think I was gonna do every single vote poll anyway I just want to see what you guys want to do most and this one just happened to be a high one but and it's also very simple but well for most people or if you're not good with Photoshop but we're going to teach you how to make your movie and start menu and it's fairly simple what you're going to do is get your start menu ready and Photoshop I already have one made so I'm not even going to go through on how to you know, specifically make it. I'm just going to go through how to code and everything like that. So we're going to use this one that I have in my, you know, already into my embedded into that Photoshop. Everything like that. It's called the Queens. It's our time. But as far as you see, you have everything set up. What you're going to need is basically, you know, the title of your moving game. You could probably get a PNG off of, you know, basically Google, DeviantArt, whatever you want to. I'm, it's go I'm also have you know in I know you guys also asked for you know the thumbnail tutorial again so we're gonna do that too and it will be you know logos and stuff like that but what you're gonna do is first get your logo make your logo whatever how you're gonna do it on Photoshop or if you're just gonna simply download and put it onto Photoshop I strongly suggest you put it into the middle but there's many ways to go about it but you know the classic way is to have the text in the middle or the logo in the middle so once you have the logo in the middle most games in this case removing you just literally press any button and it starts you know the game but you know if you want to be more classy more simple you could probably put you know press you no know, press start but for me I'm just putting press any button and then you know usually if you're using someone if you're using an already made game if you're not you know making your sprites or whatever like that if you're not making your sprites it's you know, not an original character it's not your character it's not an oc or anything like that it's highly important to avoid even if you think you're not going to get you know copyrighted lawsuit whatever the case may be you highly want to put the credits of the original creator so say if you're doing dragon ball z you know most people just say i didn't make this Credits go to Akira Toriyama, Toy Animation, Shueisha, etc, etc, etc. I do not own Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT. Please support the official release, etc, etc. You would most likely put that at the bottom, so you know, just in case if they ever happen to bypass your game, that it's not, you know, you won't get a lawsuit because, you know, that has the original credits. You know, you say it's not for profitable redistribution and it is not for resale. And if you know, if you happen to have gotten a sold to you, you might want to get your money back now what you're going to want to do depending on how you're going about it you might want to extract each part of this in a sprite or image of itself so what i'm going to do is simply remove each and every background that i have including the text at the bottom because that's usually separate same thing with the press button so that's usually separate now you have the logo there so I'm going to export as a quick PNG and do make sure it's a PNG and usually you might want to separate this in folders when you're making your screen pack so title screen like that type logo but okay guys once you're done extracting all your images from photoshop and i'm gonna hold you this is my third time of going over this because i accidentally knocked out my camera and the camera stops every time i even touches it but you're going to go into fighter factor if you don't have fighter factor the link in the download description below there are other versions multiple versions but they should all work physically the same get banged in my ear but once you are done you're going to go to fighter factor you're going to go to my discord link in down the description below and download the template file that will be in the tutorial section below in the tutorial section for people you know who are getting into moving and all that stuff you are going to download that file and in that file there are going to be both a start def and an intro sprite sff file then you are going to go into fighter factor you're going to open it so then you can begin editing it once you are in there, I already had it set up. Once you're in there, it's going to be explained, double explained because I am explaining it. 
I hate having to say this because I said this about three different times. So at first you're gonna go to the info. The info is not all that important, but just for you know fanciness and clarification. You're gonna add the title, you know, probably the name of your movie, and then put title screen after it. The author being you, but it's gonna you know have a default set to me. The version date is gonna be the date that you know you edited it, or you know if you can you can keep it the same. The top really doesn't matter. The middle version doesn't really matter, but for clarification, there's really only you probably do. And at the bottom, everything you might want to keep the spray name of the sprite as SF the same. Keep it intro because it's easier to find. Or if you just call it start SFF, uh, SFF2, and then you're going to go down to where it says scene zero. Do not increase or decrease the amount of scenes. It needs to be one scene, not scene just zero. The fade in time is the amount of time it'll take to fade into it, fade out, self-explanatory. The end time, I don't know why it's called end time, but it's the the, the amount of time it lasts. So it's 2800, it'll last that long, that many ticks. So if you were set it to probably 100, it wouldn't last that long. So it'll last for probably about a good second and then it'll cut off. 280 ticks, I see, it's a good, I don't know how to calculate ticks, but I know it goes in the format of ticks, but then you got background name BG0. That will be the name of the title of each and every one of these. Each and every one of these sprites to identify the sprite. Then the BMG, the same way making your screen pack works or adding music into your screen pack works. This would be the title of the music of the MP3 file. Or, or I'm pretty sure it renders all kinds of music files. And then the type of the music file, which is MP3 in this case. The, the BG loop, you set it for zero if you want it to go after infinite loops, or if you just set it to one, two, three, or how many times you want it to loop. And then the BMG volume increase or decrease to make it louder and quieter. That's all self explanatory at the top. Now, making the sprites or putting them in depending on what Mugen version you're using. As you know, Mugen 1.1, you do not need to index images to make the screen track because it renders unindexed images. For Mugen 1.0 or Wind Mugen or even icons sometimes too, you may need to index your image sometimes. I mean, I mean, not sometimes, all the time. So for it to render the image, but for this case, we're using Mugen 1.1 to make things just a little easier. So you're gonna go to Sprite, you're gonna open the Sprite, and then you are going to go to Intro. But now you will have a sprite that is numbered 999999. Do not remove that sprite. It's just a sprite with a palette. In order for you to save it, it's just going to be there. You leave it, don't touch it. But you're going to get rid of all these. Let's go to interval number 100. Boom. All that is gone. Delete everything besides 999999. Anything that has all that 9 in it, leave it. It's just there so you can save it. So what you are going to do is add every single one of those images that you have done. Title screen, but make sure they're the ones right because so I had made it separate because I had realized those images were rendered in a different size of the local cord. So make sure the images are rendered in the size that it's in. So 720 or 120, 720 is the size that it's rendered in. So I have to add all those in. We're just gonna do number one, make all that zero. So it should be there. Well, no, it should be 640 because it's um, it should be 640 because especially if it's you know if the the local cord is 128 to 720, make sure if the size in the middle is 640. If your image image size is 128 to 720, make sure it's on the x axis of 640. But you will see after you keep constantly testing it and testing, testing. This is the way I do it to avoid you know each situations and issues because it makes it easier because it's a one shot thing. So boom, we have the title in there. We have the city, type of that one one. Keep going over and doing that. Sky credits. Right, one two. I I had to get the credits right real quick or the image. So 720, add that in. It's literally the same process as you adding the next one in and in and in. Now for the last one, pressing the button, so 20, boom, everything is in there, everything is set up, it's good. Now for animations, 
the type of file doesn't render animation so you can't see it but i strongly suggest you just creating a new animation if you're going to use animation so you can just simply copy and paste it over and over you're just gonna make the next animation so say if you wanted to move up and down and up and down we're going to we're going to make a new group adding no no animations and frames but for the sixes we're going to call it press any but and if you and if you want to save it you can save it so we're just going to call it intro and it's going to be rendered as intro air so in this case you don't have to keep going back and forth back and forth we just automatically open it when you get there title it one title it one find the press any button we're just going to you don't have to do it this way this is just the way i do it at the same time Up, oh. Copy space, copy space, copy space, copy space. Go for a little more ticks or frames. And we're gonna give it well, well that's the axis. We're gonna go to time, increase the time. Cool. Now you can see each frame, frame, or frame. So because it actually moves this time because I had it all set to zero. So if you wanted to say move up and down, you're just gonna start at zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just usually go by the two times tables so two, four, six, eight, then go back down. Three, four, six, eight, six, four, two. So it looks like it's actually moving up and down. Well, it is moving up and down. It's not simply go up and down, and if you feel like it's too slow. Let's keep lowering it and play it and then what you're going to do is keep that there for when you start adding the sprites in so now adding the sprites in is fairly simple like we said we're keeping it all the title of this bg0 but once you have that in you can just title the end of it something else so bg0 you're going to name it uh title logo logo and then the type for just adding the sprite will always be normal so you're just going to type type normal and then sprite to know also means sprite so i should add that in for you guys too or add like so you know make sure that you guys remember so you guys don't forget because i'm gonna see a bunch of comments in the, both in discord and in the in the comments so you're going to type normal and then go to your sprites make sure you remember the sprite group and index which is one and zero i'm going back at it like i said we're going to do sprite layer and all layer and all never has supposed to have that i don't know why it was like that layer and all only goes for screen patch from zero to one and then in order for it to, for another layer on layer to go over another layer it needs to be above that in like you know the order so if i had this layer and i had this layer this would show up above it because it, it's above it in the timeline but since it's not going to be like that layer on it needs to be zero or just don't add it at all that's another thing i'm gonna add boom now this this next part mass the mass code it's only for people who are indexing images or using index images. If you're not using index images, I'm pretty sure you don't need the mask, but for safekeeping, just put mask because it gets rid of the background of the index image. So say if the background of the index image was a straight green and you know it's kind of a green screen, just gonna put mask so it gets rid of it. And that's another thing we're going to add. Now we have the title screen that's already there. It's layered and start is zero zero. When you have start, that just means you know an alternate positioning. So say, if you want to use start instead of having to move the image here, you would use start and then the positioning of that instead. I'm writing all this down for you guys because I see in the comment sections already. Okay, now we have the logo in there. Next is going to be the animation we just used. So in order for the animation to pop up, since it cannot be connected via the the the, the start death, you just need to. Copy and paste the code. Boom, copy that. And if there's already an action one there, just, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Boom. Action one is already there. And it's already in type and it, it's already in the type anim 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 is short for animation. AKA. 
and then you know Ashiono that also means action or animation too and then it just needs to be named the one the number one of the action and you have one there start you don't need to start layering or you don't really need to layer it but just in case if it's going to you know, pop up below the you know the logo we're going to put it above mask you can mask it just in case if the image is indexed so now that is the title the start I'm gonna go up, press any button animation press any button and make sure none of them are titled the same thing so you can't have you can't have two logos with the same title like that because it will you know it may, it may it's not gonna crash but it's gonna skip over it and not gonna work so for safety we're just gonna copy and paste this and we're gonna type this credits that is the credits i was talking about earlier how you know if your case if you're making a movie game just in case to add you know the original creators at the bottom for normal the sprite for that is this one two boom layer no you don't need layer no because i already know and just in case like i said again mask move one and let me put one up top here too hope you guys are following hope you guys are we will just copy paste it again because it's just really easier when you just copy and paste and don't just change the little itty parts if it's not something major I am pretty sure if that's any buttons already there. Now time for the background because this actually goes in the back, so we're gonna actually cut that. This goes in the back of that. So time for the background. The city. This goes one and one. Normal layer no, it doesn't need a layer no mask. It may need a mask because it has a cut around background. Then we're going to title this City Night. That's what it is. Night City. City Night. Then we're gonna copy and paste it again. Space it out so you can get to the background. This is just going to be the night sky that we saw earlier. Night sky. Boom, the sprite of that is oh, did we we didn't even add it? So we have another sprite to add. So it's just gonna be one four. Four. and that should be as simple as that now we're going to actually see it and see if it's now start it up it should work the same way sorry about the discord notifications and boom the screen pack should be rendering as the title screen the title screen should be working i didn't put music on it yet it just has a default on there so you know you can add music in add more animations add more glue add more effects to make it you know pop out more got the credits at the bottom the animations working the title is there the background and everything is the same way i had it in photoshop that's why i always make it in 180 or in photoshop in general before i even do it on movie but this has been the how to make your title screen tutorial i hope this guys i hope the cutting off and everything didn't get you too distracted and everything like that will be time steps in there so you could you know go back and then there all links will be down in the description below i'll see you guys next one